Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So I have Alice in Wonderland on because I'm getting some inspiration for my tea party. And I haven't been doing any DIYs. I've been like so behind. I'm trying to do some DIYs for my Alice in Wonderland tea party or Mad Hatter's tea party, whatever. I'm doing kind of like a mix of both. But anyways, I did go thrifting and I went to Desert Industry and I went to the Goodwill. And so let me show you guys what I picked up for my Alice in Wonderland tea party and then some other little extras that I picked up that I'll just share with you guys. So let's get into this haul. So I'm gonna start with the Goodwill and I didn't get much at the Goodwill, but what I did find and I was looking for was an Alice in Wonderland book. This one was two dollars a dollar ninety nine and what I really wanted it for was um, so I can kind of trace over the images and cut them out like like this and then also I'm gonna put this somewhere in my um, maybe buffet area for my tea party and I'm glad I found it somebody was selling it for a dollar at a yard sale but that the goodwill they're selling it for a dollar ninety nine of course they always sell everything so much more expensive but I wanted to get it anyways, so I picked up the book. So, oh my gosh, this find that I found was, I was excited about because it it's a really nice piece that I can use, not just for my Alice in Wonderland tea party, but I can use it for any of my tea parties. I picked up this beautiful, I don't know if you guys can see, let me kinda, I'm in my craft room and I'm sitting in my little bed here, so. But look at how stunning this silver piece is and it's a salt and pepper shaker um, it was six dollars five ninety nine and I don't want to tip it because this one has pepper in it but I have to polish it and look at how beautiful this little stand is and it's quite heavy so I can't wait to use this for my tea party to put it on my table and then let me see one more thing that I found, and it's not really for the tea party, but I really liked it. This was $3.99, and look at it, it's two wooden spoons. They're heart-shaped. And actually, I could probably use it for the tea party. Put it on the, um, you know, where, something that they may be serving themselves with. And uh, it has this here. Somebody wrote somebody's name here with a cricket. At Doris's Kitchen. That's what they wrote on there, so I'll just take that off, but... Aren't they beautiful? Oh my God, they're so pretty and they're heart-shaped. So that's what I picked up at the Goodwill for my tea party. And uh, now let's just move on to desert industry. So I made two trips to desert industry. I went a couple days ago and then I went today. But this, this bag here is from a couple days ago. So let me show you guys. I found this right here and this was a dollar see and what this is it's for my teapot so i put a little tea candle here and it's a teapot warmer and then you put your teapot right on top and since it's going to be basically kind of an alice in wonderland matt hatter's tea party nothing has to match none of my china has to match so i really like this one and quite honestly i think i'm going to use it even if any other time because it's perfect to keep your tea warm. So I like this for a dollar. I found this here. This is not for the tea party. Actually, this is for my Cinco de Mayo or, or my Dia de los Muertos when I pay, uh, do my um, altar. And this blanket here was $6. I have one already. And the one that I have, actually, I bought it at the swap meet years ago. And it was, we haggled with the people and we still got it for $30. So for $6, it's not a bad deal. And it has the purples and pinks in here. And I just love it. And the other one that I have doesn't have the purples and the pink. So, so pretty and I love it. So they also had a, one of those little Mexican dolls with the little braids and stuff. But I already have plenty of those. So I left that one behind. So I have that. All right. And then this is also not for the tea party. But I picked it up because I love The Wizard of Oz. Look at how pretty and classic this book looks. And honestly, I thought maybe I can do a Wizard of Oz tea party after, you know. So 
I just love the way it looks, the illustrations. So pretty. So I had to pick up this and this was 75 cents. So I bought these cards here, these playing cards that are 75 cents. And I just realized I bought some today and I bought red ones and these are red. I thought I had black ones, but I don't. I bought two reds, so oh well. But anyways, I got this one and then these little guys here. I don't know what they're for. These were 75 cents each and I got three of them. I don't know what they're for, but what I'm going to use them for is I have a couple of tea strainers, but they don't have any word like when you use them, you have nowhere to set them down unless you put them down on your plate. But I figured I can use these and put them right in here like that. So I picked up three of those. And so that was it for the first trip and now let me show you what I picked up today so like I told you guys I thought I had the cards the playing cards in black and I picked up another one in red another red one so I got two of them now but um yeah I got two of them now so it's okay I'm going to use these to decorate you know the the area that we're going to be at for the tea party and I found this guy and I really liked it because I can either paint it or buy that rub and buff and use this frame here. This frame was $2. And I'm thinking that maybe I can write something on here, maybe like down the rabbit hole or I don't know. Just uh, I like the frame itself so I can use it for that. So, you know, I wanted to put frames throughout as well, but some of the frames are really expensive and they're not really that cute. So I like the shape of this one. Oh, I bought myself some Levi's. <laughs> they were only $8. They're Levi's jeans. I need some. I need, need, need some pants. Didn't have any, so I picked those up. But now, I found this guy, and I don't know how much the lady charged me. Let's see. I think she charged me. I think she charged me. It looks like 50 cents. Okay, so she charged me 50 cents. Look at this. Somebody had made a little... Oh my God, look at this. Ah! I dropped it. All right, so look at this right here. Look at how cute. Oh my God, somebody had made this. So it was like perfect. They also had two headbands that they made with little, like this. They were like little hats that they made like this and it was like this on the side of the headband. And I had them on my cart. They were 75 cents each. But I left them behind because they kind of looked, the, the little hats that they made looked a little dirty and messed up. So I left those behind. But I like this one. So I picked this one up. That's like perfect timing. So cute. So I'm going to put this somewhere in my table just as decor. And then this is my last bag here. I found some teacups. Two of them. Here's this one. And here's this one in blue and in pink. And they were $1.50 each. $1.50 each. And again, they don't have to match. These are, oh my gosh, I'm not wearing my glasses. All right, these are, they say, can't really read it. Something England. I can't really tell. I think I need my prescription glasses. These are just like over-the-counter glasses, reading glasses. But look at how pretty. Oh my goodness. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. So I got them for $1.50 each. And then they came with the plates as well and the plates were $1.50 each as well see how pretty they are and then each again was $1.50 and let me see if I could see what it says Bone Kent China Taylor and Kent England let's see that's what that one and I thought they were so pretty, so I thought, you know what, these would be perfect for the Alice in Wonderland tea party. I have already some teacups, but I do want to decorate the table with some of the teacups, and so I thought this was so pretty, and I love the way they had the gold edging, and I just, I loved it. I thought it was beautiful. So, those were my finds. I was actually looking for some, like, rose type of uh, teacups and I didn't find any. I only found these and these were like beautiful. I love them. So I was lucky to find those because I have been looking for them and I haven't been finding any. So anyway, those were my finds. I did buy some tea strainers, some more tea strainers on Amazon that I'm going to be using for my tea party. And um, I'm going to start working on some of my DIYs 
I need to. I'm, I'm actually also going over my menu. I, I bought a Tea Time magazine and I got a, uh, a recipe off of there. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. If you guys want to see when I start making those recipes, just let me know and I will record that for you guys, the recipes. Kind of like what I did, was it two years ago when I did my tea party? And it was in the fall. I thought it was spring, but it was in the fall when I did my tea party. I will leave that link below so you guys can see. I actually show you guys when I go get the stuff and when I make the the tea sandwiches and the food that I made. I show you guys how I do all that, my scones. Then I show you how I set up my table. And uh, I will, you know, link that below if you're interested in seeing that. But if you guys want to see um, when I start doing the recipes, you know, just leave me a comment below and I can start recording that. It's not going to happen right now because the party's not, the tea party's not going to be until next month. And it's going to be on Easter. So it's going to be after Easter that I will upload this because, uh, you know, I have to, you know, try. Actually, um, I do want to make a test run on, on a carrot cake that I want to do. It is on Easter. It's my daughter's birthday. And so I wanted to do a little, you know, birthday cake for her too. So I was thinking of making a carrot cake that I seen a recipe for. And so I have to try it out and see if it comes out because it's a big uh, carrot cake. So... Um, I might just record that and share that with you guys. So anyway, that was my stuff that I found at the thrift store. I was pretty excited with my finds and I am going to be going to California with my sister and I'm only going to be there for a couple of days, but every time I go, we go thrifting out there and out there I could find more stuff. So I usually find some decent stuff out there in California. So hopefully when I go thrifting with her, I can find some some good stuff for the tea party but I honestly don't think I need any more stuff but you know it's fun to go thrifting and I'm very selective now on some of the things that I pick up so yeah I'm excited with these finds so I want to thank you friends for watching and I'm gonna start pulling out all my stuff and see what I have for my DIYs I don't have a ton of DIYs that I'm gonna do for the tea party but I do want to do a Mad Hatter's hat and I bought the ones from Dollar Tree, uh, those St. Patrick's ones, but they don't really look like a Mad Hatter. So I don't know. I might cover them in cloth or something. I don't know. But I will show you guys as I'm working on this stuff so you guys can see what I'm doing. But um, it might not, I might not go like in detail. I'll just record it and, you know, maybe I'll do a voiceover or something. But anyway, I want to thank you friends for watching. And I hope you guys go out and find some really nice things and good stuff out there in your thrift stores. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.